you go. Thanks, so. Let's go. Yo, what is going on, guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we are in. How do you how do you say it? Say it one more time for me. Argyle, Texas. Argyle, bro. Texas. Argyle, Texas. And we are here with Justice, Red Day Outdoors. What's up, boys? What's up? What's up? So anyway, guys, he has brought us to this juicy looking country club slash golf course pond, as good as it gets, and hopefully we can get on a big mouth bass. It's a little bright out here today. Actually, it's very bright out here today. We have to wait until about six o'clock, but we have about three hours because it doesn't get dark here until nine, luckily for us. So hopefully we can get on some big mouth bass today. Y'all stay tuned, and thank y'all for tuning in today. Me and Nathan were just talking about throwing a frog on a chatterbait. And now I see one. You think? You think? Take your word for it. Double? Double? Hey! Double? Let's go on the white frog chatterbait. I was just kind of making fun of Justice for putting a frog on a chatterbait. All right, guys, I guess I haven't said a word this whole video. I've been kind of hot, trying to conserve my energy. But me and Justice just doubled up. I'm not sure what he's throwing, but I'm throwing a white chatterbait with a Berkeley buzzing speed tote, I want to say, on the back. and. I was just about to start making fun of Justice for throwing a frog on the back of a chatterbait, but it looks pretty juicy. First fish of the day, first Texas fish at that. It's a nice one, it's not a dink, but not super big, not super small. We'll take it though. First Texas fish for me. First double up. First double up. First double up was a Texas bass with Justice. Doesn't get much better. No, it doesn't. All right, fish bump. Cheers, brother. Cheers. Guys, special moment on the Larry Meltzer Jr. channel. We've now caught a bass in what, I think I'm like at eight states. I know somewhere on my map I have it marked, but we have a Texas bass, first one ever. Ah, he's biting me. <laughs> Pretty cool. All right, guys, we started off with the fritz side this morning and switched it over to the chatterbait. So I was trying to explain it with the fish, but I was a little appalled that I caught a fish, guys. I'm not gonna lie, I just wanted to, the action on this is really good. I'm not really, it's not so much that I'm appalled that I caught the fish. I just really wasn't expecting to see a frog as a trailer. But I mean, it works pretty doggone good, dude. It's like a, it's like a double swim bait. You know, it's kind of like two swim bait tails and it rigged up perfect. It's not like the typical way you throw a frog, like on the back of the buzz bait. It's more of like a, which way is, this would be horizontal, I guess it's a vertical. I mean, horizontal and this would be, yeah. I don't know, sideways, sideways. All right, we're gonna keep fishing it. See if we can't catch a couple more. See if we can't catch a Texas dong. Everything's bigger in Texas, but that bass, that bass is a, I'm not gonna say that's a Texas bass. Texas bass is four, five, six, seven, eight, 11, 12 pounds. Windblown bank in Texas. This is where the big one's coming from or off of those bricks over there i really think i haven't ever fished out here before i've only caught one but just as that too and i think if there's like a really really good one in here it's going to be on this side the way the wind's blowing and you know sometimes you can just feel it in your knees and i just i feel it in my knees that the big bass is over here i love you till your love runs out i ain't lying That's a good one. That's a good one. Dude, that's a good one. And it's a, yeah, that's a really. Yeah, that's like a little. Oh yeah, dude. Let's go, baby. First bigger Texas bass. Oh yeah. Uh, I didn't. Didn't freak out, guys. Didn't freak out. That's a nice upper ones too. There we go. It's a bigger one. Big one. We'll take that all day. It's a nice like two. On the white chatterbait with the frog trailer. Something I had never heard of before, but we're trying it out. We might have to adopt this tactic when we get home, honestly. 
we're going up if we keep at this rate and we catch like five more we're going to end up with a 10 today and i'm perfectly okay with that not opposed to a 10 at all at all Oh, that's a good one. That's a really good one. That's a really good one. That's like three plus all day. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Dude, that is a good fish right there. That's a good one. Don't get off. Don't come 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 off. Oh yeah. Let's freaking go, baby. Oh gosh. Let's freaking go. Look at that. Freaking three. Four. That's a four all day. Let's pull out the phone. Guys, I've been working on staying calm. I feel like I start to get a little too excited sometimes. But I'm my heart is racing right now. <laughs> oh, that's the Texas fish. That's what we've been looking for. Let's go. Some money. Oh my goodness, what was that? <laughs> what was that? Guys, I hope you saw that on camera. Oh, I think that was probably like a frog or something. <laughs> Dude, that scared me. That's a nice three though. Nice to see you. Thanks for hanging. Come off, little man. We're doing something right. We're doing something right. We got three fish already, and they keep getting bigger. I'm telling you guys. <laughs> I hope they keep going on that same pattern. I could feel. I could feel that one was a lot better. I was definitely knew that was a lot better. It was scary trying to drag it through this grass right here. Though. I wasn't sure if he was gonna make it. I didn't really want to walk down there. Sun started to go down. It was really hot when we got out here. It was like 95, 96. So sun started to go down now. I think that might have a little bit of good effect for us. Um, just to say they had a lot of rain before I got down here and then they had like the water was all hot or the water was high and everything and now it's kind of getting back to normal but it's a lot hotter he said this is like the hottest day they've had probably all year I'm sure with it cooling off now finally the bass probably feel a little bit more freedom to eat we're gonna try to take advantage and I'd love to take advantage I'd love to take advantage of a 10 pound right about now here's a good one Eh, not sure how good he is. He's not really fighting yet. There we go. <laughs> Little grass bass. There we go. I'll take it. Not mad at it at all. I'm telling you, it's like these bass, I've caught bigger ones, but it's like they're not as aggressive as they are in Alabama. Like they're eating it good, but like the Alabama fight has just been crazy here lately. But this one's still a good one. Don't get me wrong. I still enjoy it. This one's sitting in the grass. Smallest one of the day. We need to go the other way, sir. You're helping us. It's fun to catch you, but at the same time, go call your cousins and tell them, come eat the white chatterbait, the big ones. Call your big cousins, your country cousins. Shout out to Greg. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that there. That just kind of flowed out. This next fish is dedicated to Greg. That's a good one. That is a, ooh, that's a good one. Oh my goodness, this could be, this could be the big one. Stay calm, stay calm. Don't let it, oh my goodness, that one flew. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I think that might be the highest jump I've ever seen out of a bass in my life, dude. Oh, he's pulling. Okay, this is a good fighter. Hey, I haven't really seen him yet. I saw him kind of far out. That's a good one, that's a good one. Oh, that's a, that's a four or five. That is a four. Dude, how about that? Oh yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. Let's say. I'm not gonna say that's a that's a four, maybe five. All day long. How about that? That's a nice big mouth bass. That's why we call them big mouth. Cause look at that mouth circumference. Circumference right there. Big mouth bass. Definitely biggest of the day. That one we just caught was just like a little, a little, you know, a little warm-up. So Woo! This is a good feeling, guys. I love, love catching golf course, big mouth bass in Texas. Let's go. Texas has been good. Got to meet a lot of my subscribers, a lot of you guys, and also getting to catch some pretty, pretty healthy big mouth bass. Doesn't get much better than that. All right, let's see if maybe we can't get another one out of this corner. That'd be nice. Pretty close. Dude, that fish just jumped high as, I don't think I've ever seen a fish jump that high. That fish got a good, probably four feet in there. That was pretty clean. I will say the mosquitoes are over here. There, I'm delivering a nice Alabama snack to them. Oh, oh, 
Ooh, that was a good one. I wasn't paying attention for it. That was a good one. Oh, already, as soon as it hit the water, dude, we already got one. We already got one. I don't think it's super big. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Dude, this corner is like loaded with fish. I just had one come off and second hit the water down there, dude. Oh, this is a good one. This is a good one. Did I just sing? <laughs> oh, dude. Oh, whoa, oh, oh. Dude, that could be my PB. That could potentially be my PB. Um, I don't know. Let's go get this. Oh. Nah, I don't think so. That's about a five. That's a good one. I don't think it's a PB though. No. Yeah, it's not a. Ouch. Yeah, it's just a, it's just a big fish. I don't think it's the PB. No, that's a, that's a five all day. Four or five. Oh man, dude, <laughs> we're on them today. What is this? Like five, six, seven. This is definitely. Honestly, I'd be fine with catching them if they keep coming to be this size, coming up and being this size. I'd be okay with catching them this size and not catching a PB today. I would love to catch a 10 in Texas just because a 10 isn't a very rare current. Or a 10 is a really rare current. So I would love to catch a 10 today just to be able to say I caught a 10 pounder in Texas. But you know, you know how it is. Oh, there's another one right as they hit the water, dude. What? Right as they hit the water again. This is another good one. Oh my gosh, that's a good one. That is a good one. Dude, yeah, that's the biggest one of the day, no doubt. I haven't even seen him yet. I haven't seen him yet. Oh, here he comes, here he comes. Oh my goodness. I can't see him, is he? Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Just come out. Oh my goodness, that's a little short chubby one. <laughs> I'm like a bass wrangler. I'm trying to get him. <laughs> so every time I get close to him, he moves. Oh, that's another good one. Not gonna lie, I thought this one could potentially be the big one for today. He's, a, he's the fattest one of the day, no doubt. He's a nice little chunk, but still a lot of fun. I might have to move to Texas. I've been talking about wanting to move to Texas or Oklahoma, I think. If I catch a couple more that size, I might be I might be saying peace out to old Alabama and <laughs> make a full-time switch. Let's see if we can get another one as it drops. If I do, I'm moving to Texas. Oh, oh there was one. If I catch one on this cast, I'm moving to Texas. Or Oklahoma, for that matter. Oklahoma was good to me, too. All right, guys, I had to run over here and get the camera. I have caught, I don't know, I probably caught a three, a four, two fives, two threes, two fours, something like that. I don't know, but we've caught a lot of big fish. I had to run over here and get the camera also. I feel like I had to cool down, dude, because I was I was on fire. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. But yeah, I had to come over and get some water. It's a little, it's still a little toasty out here, but we have kind of figured out where the bass are at. We're going to try to pop back over here, maybe catch a couple more. And yeah, I'm having a blast. This is a lot of fun. Fishing a Juicy Texas Golf Course Pond, guys. It's it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. Justice definitely has the plug, the hookup on these. Also, guys, check out Justice's video. We've been hanging out a lot. He's a pretty cool dude. I guess he's all right. So check him out, guys. I have him linked down below in the description. Big shout out to him for bringing your boy out here so I can make this content for you guys. And also, once again, thank y'all so much for 100,000 subscribers. It really does mean the world.